uh, challenges. What, what are the top challenges that uh, that uh, companies are facing today? Well, what came up as a top challenge on the social intelligence report was generating insights that are truly actionable. So you're really looking for that proverbial uh, needle in a haystack, um, and, and that's not that's that's no easy task. And, and by the way, you also need to be able to um, uh, make sure those needles get to the right person once they're once they're identified. Um, Tracking and measuring results, um, and we'll uh, we'll talk a bit about some of the specific performance metrics that uh, top performers are using. Um, instilling an organizational focus on listening to the voice of the customer, so that came up as a top um, value driver, but it also came up as a top challenge. And I think the reason is that um, you know human beings, uh, by their very nature, are loath to uh, change their behavior, and organizations have evolved. Um, um, they've, you know, they've been customer uh, product centric as opposed to, to customer centric. So now you're asking them to uh, to uh, sort of um, uh, adopt this new uh, mindset and and, um, and and make sure that the social tools are incorporated into the the fabric of the organization. Um, getting different departments to work together. That's that's um, that's kind of the same idea, right? So you need to understand, um, you know, and actually the question there is, you know, who's who's responsible for Sponsoring and funding and owning um, the you know the, the the voice of the customer initiative and that that can pose an, a challenge for a lot of companies, um, and especially larger companies that uh, tend to uh, you know that that uh, that are are very siloed because you're talking about an initiative now that cuts across multiple departments and, and lots of different lines of business. Uh, securing the right organizational resources. Um, so you know you need to uh, you do need some uh, some some specialized expertise, but the good news is that a lot of this can be attained on an outsourced basis. Um, you know companies like Clarabridge can do a lot of the heavy lifting on that front, but nonetheless it's helpful to have some experienced resources um, in house to uh, to at least manage the program. Um, deploying the right enabling technologies, um, you know of course that's uh, I think. Um, you know, when you look at sort of the basic features and functionalities, a lot of these solutions are starting to look uh, more and more the same. But you know, the, the biggest uh, differentiator in my mind again is is uh, is the text analytics on the back back end. And um, you know, that's 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 a tough part. And very few companies are um, are uh, are leaders in in in, um, in 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 driving real actionable insights from a text analytics perspective. Um, so when we look at uh, performance metrics. You know, 91% of top performers said that um, they're tracking the number of data sources and, and the volume of, of data. Um, but um, but actually, 97% um, of all companies are are, uh, are are using this metric. So I think that's interesting um, when you know when you look at the disparity between uh, top performers and everyone else. You know, I think what you find is that for top performers, it's not just about um, the volume. And actually, you get to the point where you know everyone always talks about you know the Twitter fire hose and um, the more the merrier. Um, and you know, certainly you need a diversity of data sources and you need a large volume of data. Um, but you know, to some extent, it's also a, a function of what goals you're, you're trying to accomplish. And in some cases, the quest to you know continually increase the sheer volume of data. May uh, may actually present uh, dimin diminishing returns. Um, you know, I think more important than the volume of uh, of data is the volume of relevant conversations uh, being tracked. Um, companies are also looking at the number of brand advocates and influencers that are not only being tracked but also engaged. Um, um, so you want to understand what they're saying and how they're saying it, um, and you want to also engage accordingly um, with with, the, with these advoc advocates and. Um, and identify those individuals who's uh, you know who who are who are the loudest and who really influence uh, people out there. Um, so um, when you look at a uh, customer satisfaction, so 82% uh, of um, survey respondents um, are using customer satisfaction and, and brand advocacy scores, um, you know net promoter score, so on and so forth. Uh, risk reduction is a is a metric that companies are looking at. And, um, and and marketing ROI, so which isn't surprising given that a primary reason uh, to implement uh, this type of program in the first place is to increase marketing effectiveness.